Facebook Messenger is basically gonna get to learn you, learn your interactions, the words that you use, who you send messages to, the emotions in them. As public users of Facebook, some of you might be a little <laughs> freaked out. As marketers, we have to embrace this and actually be comfortable with it and actually be excited about it. Hey everybody, Kevin O'Connell here founder of FYN, creative digital storyteller here in Washington, DC. So the topic we're talking about in a few uh, of the next few videos is gonna be all around digital trends. And so one of the ones that I wanna talk about today is Facebook Messenger bots. Within the last year or so, there's been 1.2 billion active users uh, using Facebook Messenger. So personal, for personally like you and I, organizationally, for customer service, as well as for some marketing purposes. So here's kind of what I want to talk about. You might get creeped out by this. So Mark Zuckerberg, love him or hate him, he said last year in one of his keynotes that Facebook Messenger is basically going to get to learn you, learn your interactions, the words that you use, who you send messages to, the emotions in them. Uh, and so as public users of Facebook, some of you might be a little <laughs> freaked out. But as marketers, we have to embrace this and actually be comfortable with it and actually be excited about it. Um, and so here's why. A lot of digital thought leaders, including myself, I believe that in the next two, three, four, five years that Facebook Messengers will be our new email marketing. There's a lot of uh, companies and organizations building up their Facebook Messenger. They're not using it to market, they're just using it to add value or as a resource. One of them, for example, uh, I have friends at Johns Hopkins University they're using it as a resource. Hey, what time uh, is campus open? How do I set up an admissions tour? Uh, they're using it as almost uh, as a third person to answer questions rather than having to go to a website. But here's the, the cool case study. I love following Jamie Oliver. He is a chef, a celebrity chef in the UK. And what he did is he had a new book come out late last year of 2017. And he has a whole YouTube conglomerate, a whole Instagram following. But what he did is he harnessed Instagram or Facebook Messenger and his book and he created a Facebook Messenger bot and what he did is he came out with it and he said hey any food emoji that you use we're gonna spit back a recipe from our book for you for free which is really cool so I was automatically as a digital marketing nerd I had to try it but also as a fan of Jamie Oliver I had to see how good it was so uh, I immediately said, get started. Three, three messages come back. I'm going to read it right here. It said, hey, Kevin, welcome to Jamie's Amazing Recipe Pot and had emojis in it with a high signal and it populated my name. But long story short, long story short is I get started with one of these uh, recipes below and try any emoji that tickles your taste bud. So I was like, all right, let me throw the, the chicken, chicken bone or chicken thigh emoji out there. I'm talking within like a quarter of a second, recipe comes back with chicken pot pie. So I was like, all right, that's pretty easy. Let me try, I don't know, a box of French fries. Sure enough, second, half a second later, a whole recipe, how to make sweet potato French fries. Was blown away. This is a utility for me, right? Because normally I'd be on a YouTube channel or something like that, now I can just spit it back and get it right there. When you go to, his, uh, when you go to the, that actual recipe, one of the cool things is it gives you the recipe for free. You don't have to give your email, you don't have to pay for it, you don't have to sign up, it's all right there. And then right at the bottom, right where your thumb is scrolling, there is a little click now, buy his book. So he was eventually using that as a conversion to sell his books, but he used this as a utility to build his brand, help people cook more, and obviously get a little publicity and awareness around his book. Um, so I would challenge any of you guys out there that one, this should be a conversation you're having with your team, large, small, profit, nonprofit, uh, entrepreneur or not, you should be thinking about Facebook Messenger bots, you should be using them uh, with other companies, see how they're interacting, and maybe start learning the skill set around it. Maybe you want to try to build one. Uh, there's plenty of other third-party things out there, people that can help you out, but this is something that I think in two to three or four years, you're going to regret not understanding, not implementing, or not putting a budget aside to get going on Facebook Messengers. Um, so don't look at it as something scary. Look at it as something that you can be utilized to build your brand and help your customers or clients out. So. I uh, hope this helped. Again, Kevin O'Connell here, FYN Creative. Hope to see you next time. Thanks.